Well, this is Steve Ridgell, and you're seeing this on Valentine's Day. Now, Valentine's Day is the day for lovers, and I get that. I mean, I've been married over 50 years, so I, I love Valentine. I've, I've been blessed to have the same Valentine for a long time, and I, I do try to, I'll try to get her, I got her flowers today, and we'll try to go out and eat, and that's great. And I love young love. I mean, there's some of you that are teenagers, and you're hoping that the person you kind of like will say something to you, and that'll be great. And I'm also aware today is a painful day for some people. That your Valentine may have died this year, or the relationship you thought would last forever fell apart this year, or the person you really like you found out doesn't like you, and on that goes. I know it's a hard day for some, and I know there are some that feel like they'll never have a Valentine. People that dreamed of being married and having kids, and boy, it just seems like that time just keeps rolling on, and you don't have a Valentine, and you're... I get all that. Man, There's this is a day of emotions all over the day. I will tell you this. I love uh, most people I know from a Christian perspective, even if their Valentine plans aren't working out, they're thrilled for those that are. They genuinely want the best for other people. So while they may be sad, they're happy for other people. So all appropriate things said. But let me tell you this. If you're wherever you are in your Valentine relationship, long-time Valentine, deeply in love, and don't have anyone and worried you never will, you are loved deeply. And I know it's kind of cliche. And everybody says, yeah, Christians are going to say God loves you. But you need to know He does. God values you. God sees the worth in you. God loves you so much He let His Son die for you. God knows what you can do and will do, and He has things for you to do. You are deeply loved by God, and He sees you and knows you better than anybody ever will and absolutely loves you. Jesus adores you so much He died for you. If you're a Christian, you have a community of faith that really loves you and values you. No, we're not perfect, and sometimes we don't take care of each other, and sometimes we don't see each other like we should, but you know what? You're loved. You are loved by the people in your community of faith. I'm telling you, if you're a Christian, if you're not a Christian even, and you don't see it yet, you are loved by God, whether you know it or not. And boy, for those of us that are Christians, we really do have people that absolutely love us. So yeah, romantic love is great and wonderful, and I'm glad I, to have it, and it's, man, it's been a great ride. But you know what? I, I, my wife, Marcia, deeply loves me, and she still comes in behind God and Jesus, who love me even more. Man, today's Valentine's Day, but as Christians, every day we are loved so much so that god really did give his only son that we wouldn't perish but live with him forever so christians remember that non-christians please talk to a christian and understand the love god has for you so while valentine's day is good and cute and trendy and people spend a lot flower people and candy people love it but always remember even if you don't have that kind of Valentine's love, you are loved deeply. And for that, I'm thankful forever.